In this video, I'm going to share with you my super effective soil mix recipe that I've been developing over the last 10 years. And I'm also going to give you a quick update of what's been going on inside the greenhouses. The potting up has gone very well. I would never have got as much done as quickly as I did without some help. And I want to say a very special thank you to JB. Uh, he has a YouTube channel called Naturally JB and he's one of my patrons. He came over to help me out on Monday and we got a lot done and uh, I'm very, very grateful. I have about another 50 plants to go and uh, that should hopefully be done by the end of today. Today's Friday and uh, I then need to find space for all of these plants. Now I've worked it out, I have enough drippers and space for these plants, I just need to figure out where exactly I'm gonna be putting them. I'm trying to categorize them, put them into like groups. So a lot are gonna be going in there that are down here on the floor at the moment, but I'm still trying to work out you know, which are gonna go where. Some of them could have been potted up a little bit sooner uh, when you start seeing chilies coming through like that, that's not a good thing. Uh, that's a good sign that you should probably have potted up last week. <laughs> now, I was away on holiday, so unfortunately I couldn't pot up a couple weeks back. So some of these plants would have been potted up a lot sooner. When you start seeing the flowers come through like this, that means that basically the roots have hit the sides of their smaller pot and it just means that they are deciding, hey, we might as well put some effort into getting some chilies and some flowers. So they're gonna stop growing their foliage. But all that you can do, which is what I've been doing, is pull off some of the flowers and some of the chilies that have come through so that the plant then starts putting its energy back into growing bigger branches, bigger foliage, and then it'll be able to support much bigger harvests. So let's pull the chili off, just go against the grain. Uh, if you see here, the chili there, don't pull it or you know cut it or anything. Just pull it up against the angle that it's at and it pops right off. You can do that with ripe chilies as well, but the plants are looking fantastic. Oh, seriously, I'm just so happy. This season is already far better than what I had last season with all the challenges I had putting up this greenhouse and moving home and all the rest of that. But things are looking really good and this place will be a jungle in no time at all. Join me this Sunday for my live stream. I normally have my live stream the first Sunday of each month, but 
this month I was away on holiday, so we rescheduled to this coming Sunday. I have a special guest as well, and if you want to know anything about compost, then this is the time to ask because this guy is an absolute pro. I'm looking forward to asking him some questions as well. And I also have a bit of an announcement that I'll be talking about on the live stream, uh, giving people that watch the live stream a bit of a early access to a big experiment that I've got planned for this season. I'm so excited about it. Uh, I'll be starting it actually today or tomorrow. I just need to see how time goes. And I will be doing a video about it. So in a couple of weeks time, you'll see me kicking that experiment off. But I will be talking about it on Sunday. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it's just a quick one, but I've got so much to do. And uh, there'll be a much longer one. We'll go through some of the plants. Uh, Already, while we've been potting up, there's a lot of interesting things that I've been noticing with the plants. Uh, some that I've been really, really happy with and some that I'm not so happy with. So I'll be talking through that in the next garden update video. I hope that your season is going really well and that your plants are doing fantastically. Let me know in the comments below about your progress, uh, the good and the bad. I think we learn a lot more from the bad stuff that goes on than we do from the good. But it's good to hear all about it. I do read every single comment still to this day. I get a lot of them and I do try and respond to the majority of them. So please remember, it's not in vain. If you do leave a comment, just know that I am reading them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, stay spicy.